Spartacus Solson. Charles de Gaulle Airport. He's pretending to be happy, pretending not to be tired of a long drive. That was, uh, that is so far 11 hours of driving, uh, no, 11 and a half hours of driving, and uh, we still got another three hours ahead of us. Hey, 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 hey. So sorry. Are you filming me? We're Wait, filming right now. Ian, I'm going to give you the cuddle of all cuddles in just a second, but I just want to say to all my homies out on the west side, yo, you've been locked up, knocked up, disrespected, neglected, rejected, inspected, and other things that rhyme with ected. You're not going to use this, right? Mark, can I talk to you instead? How is yes. your flight, Mark? Amazing. Very and I had that the Normandy. Yeah, I'm really excited. Very really nice. tired. And, yeah. uh, I know that we are gonna reach our hotel around 2 a.m., so that's fun. But that's the risk I'm willing to take. And this is Arthur F. Lover. Nice to meet you it's the first time we're meeting, and it I have is. a camera in your face. I'm sorry. It's okay. Are you excited right. for Normandy? I'm really excited, yeah. yeah. It wasn't the reason I came to Paris, but it's the reason I'm most excited to stay here. I'm Indy Nidell, and that's Spartacus Olsen. And this is Ryan, and he's, he's working with us all this week. And Ian's doing the camera, and Arthur and Mark are there. Now, um, some of you may remember, a few years ago we did a news special when Sparty and I had to go up to Luxembourg to do a trip and we hit a 90 mile stretch of highway where there were no gas stations and we ran out of gas. We did not encounter that same difficulty today. In fact, uh, since you, were, you only had 20 kilometers worth of gas left, uh, just leaving Charles de Gaulle, we found a gas station, and that pump had, oh no, it was closed, so we did the other pump, but the woman, no, that was closed, then we went to the other one, and just, as it, then they closed the thing, so we drove to the nearest gas station that Ian, holding the camera, found, and it, it was an, uh, uh, a literal a gas, gas station, station. It was a literal <laughs> natural gas station in an industrial area, we have, we're not out of gas, <laughs> we're not that stupid, we didn't run out of gas, we have two kilometers of gasoline. But the next the gas station is 3.4 kilometers away. <laughs> and right now we're standing outside of the Ikea. Uh, Arthur's Arth 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 got an Uber Arth coming an Uber in four coming. minutes. <laughs> so, uh, so he can go and and and, and he's taking Ryan because Ryan's tough and he's taking him to, 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 with my is, and please, please join us during the Join shoot. the Time Ghost. <laughs> you know, you can join the Time Ghost Army. <laughs> time Ghost <laughs> <It's almost laughs> I've been asking this part Marcus to be part of the gang for years now. And this is the initiation, so <laughs> Patreon's good enough. Ian and I have now been on the road with the car for 13 hours. That means that I've been driving for 13 hours. That's three hours over the legal limit for professional drivers. Thank God I'm not a professional driver. I know. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Okay, it's 180 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, a half pack of cigarettes. It's dark, we're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Do we fill the road surfer or do we torch the Sokotec building? Well, it's a tough I'll call. We'll torch Sokotec on the way home, yeah. all right? Uh, so, yeah, today is Wednesday. It's the middle of the week in our Normandy adventure. And party. you'll have to tell them where we're heading to and what we're going to shoot today, yeah? Yeah, we're on our way to the Benoville um, Bridge or the Benoville area where Operation Pegasus happened. And Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In any case, we're heading to Benoville uh, where uh, Major Howard uh, landed with his uh, paratroopers to uh, secure the Benoville and the Ronville bridges. It's like one of the major tourist attractions as well, together with saint Mary Eglise and Omaha Beach. Uh, then we're going to go down towards Sword and Juno, and we're going to look at how the D-Day traffic jam happened. I mean, you're going to have I'll a chance to talk about to the biggest D-Day, <laughs> the, the, not the biggest D-Day, the biggest traffic jam in history. Yeah. How was yesterday, Andy? Yesterday was great. Um, yeah, we were, well, we were in, in saint Mary Eglise, but we were there to really dispel the notion that it was the most vital point that if that had not been taken oh no then it would would have failed and i'm not going to dig too much into that because we're going to release some teasers and that's also going to be part of the regular programming um that was really good we have paul woodage from world war ii tv with us he well he talks about a lot of things on the on the channel but he really is not just a D-Day and Battle of Normandy expert, but the D-Day Normandy market garden expert 
for our purposes. So we, he's going to be doing a lot of the co-hosting in certainly the first few hours of the series. Uh, so yeah, so we, we're with him today. We're, he's in the car in front of us, and we can tell he's been having an animated discussion with Ryan because we see one of his arms waving, and I don't think he normally drives like that. Okay. We also we also have uh, Ryan Zokash with us. Yeah. Uh, Ryan from its history, Indy and, and Mark and I have been working with Ryan for many many years, uh, and uh, Mark and and uh, Ryan also have all of the editors in their team. And Ryan does its history, and he does a lot about urban decay. So uh, he and Paul are actually shooting kind of a, almost like a little mini series about the Atlantic Wall and also the effects of the tourism industry on D-Day Remembrance. It's going to be really interesting. So yeah, there's a lot of things are happening, basically. First two days, we've got over two hours of, not two hours of footage, two hours of, over two hours of footage that will definitely be used in our D-Day coverage. So we've already got a great deal of fantastic material, particularly down at Omaha Beach and in the summer eggless eggless yesterday so uh yeah we'll keep you posted tomorrow what happens then see you then i think that's the eiffel tower right there in front of us too no. yeah. <laughs> it's an eiffel tower they come in six packs